Hey everyone, I've been asked quite a few times about my style of learning. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll get something useful out of how I learn, and it might make you more effective. The first part of learning from my perspective is changing your mindset. I feel that as we get older, we lose that childlike curiosity and willingness to try new things. Children are much more likely to dive into a subject and become completely absorbed in it. Adults usually have so much self-doubt or they overthink things which acts as a barrier into learning. A child isn't interested in the best way to learn drawing or learning every technique before they draw something. They dive straight in. And if they find it interesting enough, then they'll find books, internet articles, and all that stuff, and they'll learn naturally. I know so many people who spend weeks researching something before even trying it. The longer you take to dive into something, the more time you have to convince yourself not to start. Whenever I learn something new, I don't watch tutorials and I don't read the official documentation. I use that child mind, a childlike mindset. When I started learning Unreal, I opened the engine and started creating things. I gained a deeper understanding of how everything worked because I learned it in my own way, which allowed me to build a strong foundation. I did the exact same thing with Blender to create 3D art and YouTube when I started making videos. I only look up tutorials when I'm stuck or need to learn a complex system. Outside of that, self-discovery and never doubting my abilities allow me to learn quickly. This is why the mindset is such an important part. If I let fear, anxiety and negative thoughts tell me that I wouldn't be able to learn something, I would never learn that thing. The second part is to dedicate every free hour you have. You need to become completely absorbed in the subject. You can't have any distractions. You need to find time in the day where you won't be interrupted. So do it either before or after work in the gym. You need a chunk of time where you can put music on and just work. The third part is to have great mentors. They say you should surround yourself with people far better than yourself. I watch videos, listen to podcasts, and read books about people far more intelligent and skilled than myself. I learn so much from these people, much more than I could at any university. A great mentor can teach you things, uh, sorry, a great mentor can teach you skills and mindsets that will set you up for greater success. I've never met my greatest teachers and I most likely never will, but they are all online in various YouTube videos that I can watch and learn from whenever I need to. If you don't have any mentors, then I recommend you find some. And if you'd like to learn more about mentors, I can discuss that in a more in-depth video. The fourth part is to learn how to set goals. I know my yearly, monthly, and weekly goals. This may sound insane to you, like I have way too much figured out, but it allows me to have a direction to go in. If you don't have a yearly goal, then what are you working towards? I don't... I know exactly what I'm meant to be doing every day, month, and year. Now it doesn't have to be some grand epic thing written out that you post on every wall in your house. I have my yearly goals in a journal that I keep, and I only have three written down. I spend a little time writing three goals that have changed my entire year. Such a small thing, but it made a really big difference. Goal setting is super important to learning effectively. If you go into learning something without goals, then you are simply just playing around. Now keep in mind, this is fine at the start, but if you want to get really serious with something, you need to set goals. Goals give you motivation to continue learning after your initial spark has died out. Set some goals and tick them off. It's really satisfying to tick off my list at the end of the day. I go to sleep happy. I haven't had regrets in a long time and that alone is worth making goals. The last thing to learning effectively and a very important point is that you have to really enjoy or love the thing that you want to learn. The reason I say this is because I wouldn't be able to put all of these steps into action if I was learning how to fish or write, write a book. They just don't interest me as much and I'd be bored the entire time. So hopefully you found something useful in this video and something that can help you learn more effectively. I touched a few other subjects while discussing this topic, such as mentors, but they were really important to explain how I learn. If you'd like me to cover something that I've mentioned here in more depth, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and remember, pursue what is important to you, because impossible is just a mindset. I'll see you in the next video.